If you're thinking of purchasing or upgrading to the new 21.5 inch iMac, then this video is for you. I'm Mark Brown for Editor's Keys, and this is the iMac review and iMac speed test. Okay, so let's dip right in and look at some of the new features. The new iMac features a beautiful 21.5 inch full HD screen as well as a handy SD card slot for transferring audio and video files. The back is now full aluminium and contains one extra USB port, a Firewire 800 port and mini display port. A wireless keyboard now comes as standard and although it may look the same, it only uses two AA batteries and much less power than before. The mouse is the biggest change, it's now a full multi-touch mouse which means it's great for flicking through websites and photos, however you do lose the top and side buttons for accessing Expose which was one of my favourite features of the previous old mouse. But you know the question I get asked most of all is Mark, will this actually be any faster than my current iMac or current Mac setup? Well luckily for you what I have here is two iMacs one of the previous 2 GHz generation and the new 21.5 inch uh, generation which have both the exact same files. They both have the exact same amount of memory used. This uh, is one of the older Macs which has a 2 GHz processor with 4 GB of RAM and the new 21.5 inch iMac has a 3.33 GHz processor and 8 GB of RAM so there should be some massive speed increases here. But what we'll do is we'll shut the computers down and we'll do a boot up test and we'll start some of the applications. So let's go. Okay, so we're now gonna do the boot up test. I'm gonna start both machines up at the same time and then start the iPhone timer so you can see exactly how fast each machine is. On the right hand side, we have the 3.33 21.5 inch gigahertz iMac. On the left, we have the older two gigahertz Mac. Okay, so here we go. case of the newer iMac started up a little bit faster. It's already beat the older iMac, it's already on the Apple screen. The older 2 GHz has now got to the Apple screen. As you can see there's quite a big difference in the scre uh, screen clarity. We're 23 seconds in. Both loading the boot up screens at the moment and the new iMac looks like it's about to start and there we go, it's finished at 34 seconds. The older iMac is still booting up. So 34 seconds was the speed of the new iMac. The older iMac is still going, nearly there. Look at this, still loading up. You can't quite see it, but it's still loading up the toolbars in the top. There we go, and it's done. One minute, six seconds is where we're going to stop it. One minute, six seconds. Okay, so now we're going to test out the, the running speeds of the new IMAX by running some programs in real-world tests. So we're going to open Adobe Photoshop CS4 for the first time on both Macs at the same time. So here we go. One, two, three. The new iMac has already loaded the boot screen of Photoshop CS4, slowly behind the older iMac. There we go. And it's loaded up Photoshop CS4 already. Still waiting on the old iMac. It's initializing the type tool and we're done. So as you can see, it's quite a bit faster on the new Mac. Next, we're gonna try out Microsoft Word. Opening up Microsoft Word is quite slow on my old iMac. So here we go. One two, three. They're both bouncing away there. Microsoft Word has opened first on there. Let's come up to the boot screen. Just loaded up there. I'm going to hit enter on both computers. And there we have it. You can see clearly there that the new iMac is quite a bit faster. Um, obviously, if you just use Word, a few seconds aren't going to really make much of a difference to you. Okay, so the next test is going to be with internet browsers. How fast will Safari open on both of these Macs? Let's test it out. We'll open them up. 
in one, two, three. Safari there, much faster on the new iMac. It's already rendered the page. On the older iMac there, you can see that it's slightly slower at rendering. Let's close these down, and then we'll try uh, Firefox. It's the latest version of Firefox. So let's try this, one, two, three. Firefox already open on the new iMac and it's already rendered the Editor's Keys website. We're both on the same internet connection here and this, the older iMac has just done it, just behind. But even from the video here, you might be able to see a slight difference in the, the quality of the screen. If you look at the Editor's Keys on the right hand side, you'll see that the, the blacks are much darker, the whites are much whiter. Whereas on the left hand screen, to me here, the uh, the, the black gray background is, is slightly, overexposed, the white is definitely more overexposed, and there's not much color detail, or color depth compared to the new iMac. So I hope that little test there has given you some insight and ideas uh, in, into how the new iMac might help speed up your own workflow. Okay, so should you buy or upgrade to this new iMac? Well, if you're a heavy user, such as a Photoshop user, a Final Cut user, or someone who creates audio or music, I would say yes, there's some massive speed increasements here to be had compared to the previous model. The screen is much better, so if you're editing video or creating, docu uh, creating Photoshop documents, this screen will really come into its own. And uh, it, I mean, it looks amazing. However, if you're a, a Word user or an internet user and just use your emails every now and again, I'd say stick with what you've got. This, this is machine is great. If you don't already own a Mac, go out and buy this now. It's, it's amazing. But the, the previous model's not too dissimilar, you know, it's got it's still got a good screen, it's still fast. I mean, this is only the 2. Giga, uh, sorry, 2.0 gigahertz version. There were some 2.1s and 2.16s and some even 2.4s out there. So, you, you know, if you're thinking of getting it and just using the internet, maybe to take a look on sites like eBay and get a used one. Um, so that's my conclusion. If you're a heavy user, definitely go for this. If you're not such a heavy user, have a little think about it. Take in mind what we've seen in the video today. And if you have any comments, leave them below and I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. I've been Mark Brown for EditorsKeys.com and thank you for watching.